Discovery Mobile Timesheet how to video run through. So the first thing we're going to do is log on to the uh, cloud application using the URL bit.ly T sheet in capitals. That takes us to the Discovery Consulting Cloud page where we can log in using the social uh, media network of our choice and we're going to use Facebook in this example. So click on to Facebook and we're prompted to enter in our Facebook credentials. So Joanna's entering hers in there. Nice long password, good and secure. And now you can see that the app is asking for permission to use the Facebook details. And there's details of what will be shared by Facebook to the application, which is pretty much nothing. So now you can see we're logged into the application as uh, fa Joanna's Facebook user. And at this point, we're going to generate or add a new device to our account. So there we go, and we can name the device. And Jo's going to use her iPhone here. And important to notice that pairing code that's just been generated. So swapping over to the device, starting up the application, and that pairing code is vital now for us to enter in to associate our device with the application. Okay, sending the pairing ID across and we're now successfully paired. So the cloud application knows that this device is associated with Joanna's account. Right, now we can have some fun. So let's enter in a project for Monday. Ah, yet yeah, there is no project, so we need to create one from our settings. Now we're on the settings, we noticed that uh, we haven't got an email address there. So let's enter in an email. Now it takes ages, so we've speeded that up a little bit. And now let's add some projects to our timesheet. So we've got admin as a project. And you can see that the, the standard um, phone spelling correction works within the application. And, and we'll add another project here as well. So let's add another timesheet project. Because as you can imagine, we've done a lot of work on that. So, two projects are successfully added. Now those projects are now synced to the cloud, so if we use another device, we can pick those uh, times those projects up from that. So now let's go back and enter in our days for Monday. So we'll choose some admin. Now we'll put in a comment. Working on the home office. Okay. Excellent. And we'll save that entry. You can see it's now in yellow. That means it's been entered. But we'll enter in some times now for Tuesday and Wednesday. See how easy it is to enter in the same times for multiple days in the week. We're going to say, OK, we're working on the video for two days. Quite a long time, Joe. Now, what did we enter in for Monday? Oh, yes, that's right. We put in admin. Hmm, it, that wasn't correct. So we can delete it. How easy is that? And Tuesday. Perhaps I need to update that. It wasn't video all day, no, it was more video, <laughs> but let's enter in another project because there was not just video. We can update the hours here. And put in the prep. Note how easy it is to make it billable or non-billable. There we go, we have our two entries. Now let's submit them to the cloud. Yes. And we can even see that as the entries are successfully synchronized to the cloud, they come back and the colors change to green. Excellent. I can also synchronize all my data. So if I'm using multiple devices and I want to bring back the projects that I've entered or settings that I've entered, I can do that. 
and here I can see more about the application. All right, now we've submitted those timesheets, let's go and have a look actually on the web and see where they've got to. And look, there they are. So there are the timesheet entries that we've actually created successfully interfaced to the application. Thank you for watching.